out of you as we get set to enjoy an evening of basketball in beautiful New York City. Welcome to the NBA playoffs here on 2K Sports. It's Game 5 with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. This is Kevin Harlan, and we are in for a treat. It's the Chicago Bulls and New York. And now a quick check of our starting lineups for both teams. And as we take a look here, guys, a big smooth. What's your take? Well, this guy's an animal on the glass, Kevin. I mean, there may be some bigger and stronger rebounds in the NBA, but nobody plays with this kind of energy and zeal. You know, something else I think about when I see this guy is he's a real headache to have to defend one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, he's got all of the game that makes it tough for his defender. You look at the Knicks with the series tied two games apiece, a chance here to retake the series lead and put themselves in the driver's seat. Well, it's no secret, guys, that in this situation, the winner of game five goes on to win the series the vast majority of the time. So they don't want to let this one get away from them. And they have to go out on the road and win game six in hostile territory. Yeah, must win in a game six on the road. Not the position you want to be in. I agree, Steve. They'd like to handle business here with their fans in front of them in a more comfortable environment at home. Chicago with the ball after the miss from Gary Payton. No good from Big Smooth. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Well, I spoke with the head coach of the Bulls. I asked him what he said to his guys in the locker room, and he said, I told them the only way we can lose is if we beat ourselves. There's no way that if we play our game, there will be any other result. Certainly a lot of confidence in that pep talk, gentlemen. Thanks, Doris. It's off his leg. And it's whistle to kick. And just about a minute into the first quarter. Gets it to go. Excellent communication on the inbound play there, guys. He got in a good position, and the pass was as it needed to be on time and on target. Now here's Peyton. Shot, high post. Smith kicks to Howard. It's good, the assist that time from Smith. Howard's got his first bucket of the night. Pleasure to watch him work at that end of the floor. It's West with the drive. He used that pick to get in close. Little touch of class there, guys. The end of that play with the finger roll. Peyton passes to Howard. Shep. Got a piece of it. And it's out of bounds to New York. They'll retain possession. The Knicks have gone two or three here to start off the game. Rocket six. Peyton dishes to O'Neal. West with the steal. Left side, Jordan. Wide open look. Another one falls for Chicago. And it's the Knicks with the ball. They trail by one. They come into this one following a really disappointing game on Friday. Their defense got absolutely destroyed in that game as they weren't closing out on the perimeter shooters. They were allowing people to get into the paint and score from point-blank range. Just an overall abysmal effort. Yeah, something was missing, no doubt about that. They let an opponent shoot a really high percentage, and that's got to be a concern going forward. Good. How about this? They're shooting 80% so far. I know it's early, uh, but offensively, they look great. Here's Peyton. It's it alive. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Hard work and soft hands, guys. That's what made that play possible. No simple offensive rebound there. Going for the tip in. But that's the way you've got to go. If you, you, know, if you have good position, you've got to get after it and go for that second chance opportunity. Here's Knowles. Here's Hibbert. And there's the whistle. Foul hard and the shot will go to the line. Nice work to get inside and draw the foul. Yeah, it's obvious. The defense not going to allow many easy layups. They're going to make you earn it from the line. Second free throw. Here's Peyton. Howard with the screen on West. Peyton and Hibbert with the block. This quarter has not been his best. The defense may be starting to affect him a little bit. They recover it. Count the bucket. Six points for Michael Jordan. 
Yeah, not just an everyday finish. He put a little pizzazz on that one, guys. Peyton outside. Beyond the arc. Gets it to go. Peyton's got six points. Seems like guarding him on the perimeter is not a priority for this defense, but it will become one if he continues to knock them down. West gets to Jordan. That falls. Nice feed that time from Sherry West. Nine points for Michael Jordan. Right back at you. They immediately get those three points back. Trading punches. That's how you answer. That's a nice passing by New York here. Smith kicks to Payton. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. Here are this postseason's dead-eye shooters. These guys have knocked down a ton of shots from downtown. You look at Josh Howard. Dangerous player from three-point land. A great talent with a great release. He's having so much success from the three-point line in the playoffs. Just seems like he's thriving under pressure. West passes to Nulls. Back to West. Hibbert with a screen for West. Over Payton. And it's sent back by Payton. And there's the feed to Smith. West against Payton. Joe O'Neill out to Payton. It's up a three. Payton with another miss. More often than not today, those shots have not dropped for him. Jordan off a pick from Hibbert. Here's Big Smooth, and he comes off the screen to bury the jump shot. Their offense already flowing. Some stellar shooting while jumping out to this lead. Well, high quality shots, and they've been on target with them. Now, here is Smith. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Back and down is Howard. Puts it up from 17. Shot is no good. And Chicago will go the other way with the ball. Knowles passes to Jordan. Here's Hibbert. And counting two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. You know, that putback's about as easy as it's going to get. You have to put a body on someone down there. Well, no box out. That's the result you get right there. Smith off the pick from O'Neal. The shot's good from Smith. Smith's got his first bucket in this one. Man, a gaping hole in the defense that time, and he didn't waste any time getting through it. Not loose. He's all alone. All alone. And Peyton throws it down hard. He can fly, can he? He'll make you forget he's a point card sometimes. Yeah, bro. when he does decide to attack the basket, Kevin, he can do it with the best of them. And this is the time to attack with, with these two teams locked in such a close game. And it's the Bulls with the ball. The Knicks making the shot. Last dishes to Jordan. He feeds it to Cummings. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. It goes on Horace Grant. Bulls shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. That's good from Cummings. Bodyguards checked in for Roy Hibbert. So he hits both. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. Knicks trail by six. Payton kicks the Howard. Payton. Back to Howard. Feeds to Smith. The pass to Howard. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. Howard's got five points so far. D there, guys, was pretty much non-existent. I mean, you can't leave a good shooter like that open. It's West with the drive. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. Both teams on fire right from the opening tip. Pedal to the throttle, Steve, just like we like it. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for the Bulls. A lot of success for mid-range so far for them, guys. If nothing else works, they can always fall back on the jump shot. And the, the fact that they're playing well, close to the hoop, finding points in the paint, I mean, they've got it all going tonight. Now West, after the missed three from Gary Payton, here's the bodyguard. The basket drops, and it's fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. 
They've been strong here in the early going, Kevin. Very effective from inside. Like you were saying, going strong inside, building a strong lead here in the first. And the confidence factor is a big part of that, Kevin. Taking that ball inside, you get high quality shots, you get conversion, you keep pressure on the defense, and it just continues to build on itself. Looking at who's out there now for the Knicks. To Marcus Cousins, he's checked in for Shaq. Walker comes in for Horace Grant. And Tayshawn Prince subbed in for Josh Howell. And he can't get the first one. And he sinks the second. Chicago leading by seven. West with the ball. Now Peyton defending. West passes to the body. Yeah, he's one of the best post passers there is in the NBA. And that gives him an added element to his game that makes him that much tougher to deal with. And we can't forget to mention his rebounding now. When you watch him, just keep an eye on the way he battles in the paint when the shot goes up. That one is off. And you can see in this game how aggressive they've been. I mean, that's created a lot of opportunities at the line for him. And the Bulls making a change here. New York's gone 3 of 5 from three point land so far in the ballgame. Hornacek dishes to Walker. That is good. Well, he earned that one. Took the win and still found a way to knock it down. Yeah, fantastic body control. And the will to get it done. You like that focus. The Bulls making a switch here. Leonard's checked in. Here's the bodyguard. Stripped away. Nixon, fended by West, Cousins, and they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. I like the way they're working the ball inside, because when you do that, you get higher percentage shots, and typically good things happen. Catching up on the changes for Chicago. Ellis is checked in for Jordan, and Fresh subbed in for West. Ball's not loose. Ellis with it. Now guarded by Hornacek. Six on the shot clock. Leonard, the pass to the body. It's rebounded by New York. It's Prince on the wing. And it's all evened up. Chicago's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Ellis outside. Pass to the body. Cousins is there. Here's the bodyguard. Second chance shot. And the layup is up and in. Devontz has got his first basket. If you battle for the offensive rebound and come up with it, you're guaranteed a high-quality shot on a follow just like he got there. Here's Nixon. It's Ellis on the way. And that one's good. Now it's a four-point Bulls lead. Not much the defense can do once he gets to the bucket. Back to Walker. Pass to Nixon. Here's Cousins. Off the left rim and out. Rebounding is going to be the focal point for them in this one, fellas. I can feel it. Yeah, it's a physical game, and so far the numbers show that they've got the edge on the glass. And they've made the most of their opportunities. Yeah, you're right, Kevin. They've opened up a good lead as a result of being able to get to the foul line and knock down free throws. The Bulls have been an off night in this right tonight. You see their early fouls here? They're having an impact so far. Coleman's checked in for DeMarcus Cousins. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And Clark, you're right. The early fouls contributing to the deficit here in the first. Yeah, I don't think they're moving their feet well enough, Kevin. I mean, when you foul, you're typically out of position and you're late. So they've got to anticipate better and then play defense without fouling. Stop reusing your hand. I've seen that too. Now here's Prince. Shot clock at five. It's off his foot, and the ref's whistling a kickball. Chicago making a switch here. Butler's checked in. Allen Jun is with the ball. Six to shoot. Here's Hornacek. New York, no good that time either. That's not a sight you see very often. I mean, he has a great feel for that jump shot, especially when he's open. 
I thought he'd make that one. And that's his range, and the defense nowhere to be seen. Gets it to go. Prince has got his second bucket tonight. Well, you knew he'd win that race. Definitely. I mean, that's what you call early offense. Devon sets a screen. Leonard attacking. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Yeah, he absorbed the foul and had a chance to knock it down. And that's all you can ask right there. I like that play. He's gone two for two at the line so far. The free throw drops for Leonard. them both. We've got 128 left to play in the first. Hornacek against Ellis. Coleman, the pass to Hornacek. Off the screen. That's good. The screen play worked ideally there, and I'm not talking about the screen play you see in a movie theater. <laughs> it gave him more than enough room to get that shot off. Now here's Butler. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. But they'll get another chance. No good from B Box. Knicks trail by four. Nixon, the pass to Prince. Defended by Butler. With the fadeaway. Here's Coleman. B Box grabs the board. Devots has got his third rebound tonight. And Butler gets it to go on the assist by Devots. New York's gone three of five from three-point land so far in the ballgame. Hornacek passes to Nixon. Kicks to Valanciunas. Puts up the baby hook. Shots good. Just four seconds left in the first quarter. Fresh. I'm speechless, Kevin. With his shooting ability, that's a one in a hundred shot. They're scoring fast and furious as we end the first quarter. It's Chicago leading by seven. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in. Game six in the Eastern. And thanks for joining us once more as we get set to continue our coverage of the Eastern Conference Centers. Looking at what we've seen from the Bulls, what do you guys think? Well, they've been getting to the foul line here an awful lot. The aggressive play really paying off. Yeah, and you know what? It also helps to put the mute button on the crowd. I mean, when you methodically score at the line, that can put those fans on their hands. So for Chicago right now, we've got Ellis. Person is out there with Fresh. Then it's Roy Hibbert. And it's Divac at the four. And another foul would give him three before the half. Something to keep our eyes on. The Bulls have gone eight of 13 from the free throw line. That's good from Fresh. Knicks trail by 12. Here's the pass to Coleman. Tries from seven. That one off the back iron and out. It's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board. Very steady work they've been doing on the interior, no question. And that's, uh, I think, the main reason they have this lead. Here's Devox, smooth as silk on the finger roll. The number of points they've scored in the paint already today is pretty eye-opening, Steve. No, oh, it's off the charts. It really is. And defensively, I mean, they have to start shutting down some of those lanes to the hoop. New York calls timeout. Well, I, I felt like his defense was letting it down out there, guys. So we wanted to get a timeout to talk it over and try to tighten things up here. You know, part of coaching, a lot of coaching, actually, is making sure that momentum never gets too far away from your team. That's a good timeout. Knowles is checked in for person. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Prince outside. He dishes it to O'Neal. To end the run. 
Oh, what a great finish as he gets bumped on his way up. He'll go to the line and try to check out another. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Josh Howard, he's checked in for New York. The free throw off from O'Neal. The Bulls leading by 12. Ellis outside. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. Caught him off guard with that move. It definitely had the element of surprise. Nobody expected him to bust out a spin, but it worked beautifully that time. Horace Grant, he's checked in for the Knicks. Just about a minute and a half has gone by here in the second. Pass to Howard. Shaq covered by Gibbert. New York moving the ball around. One sec passes to Nixon. Howard. He feeds it to O'Neal. Shot clock at six. Passes it to Nixon. Shoots from the elbow. Gets it to go. Easy little jump shot for him right there, guys. Bulls have gone a perfect 4 of 4 since the second quarter began. Perfect from the field. Pass to Fresh. Here's Knowles. And Shaquille O'Neal pulls it down. That's the kind of defense required when he's got the ball near the hoop. And they were right in his face. Addition out to Howard. And there's the pass to Nixon. Howard, good. Howard's got seven points in the game. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Here's Knowles, working on Howard. Shoots a fader. Nicks with the rebound. Shaq's got his fourth rebound in this one. He continues to struggle from the field. But luckily for him and his team, his teammates have been able to pick him up and get the job done. Howard kicks to Hornacek. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. Chicago leading by 11. Here's Fresh. Here's Hibbert. Already he's looking at his third foul. I think the coach will probably look to sit him down until the third quarter. A few opportunities so far at the free throw line. He's made one. He's missed two. And that one misses. Chicago making a switch here. And the second free throw, good. New York's gone three of five from beyond the arc so far tonight. Peyton outside. Screened by Howard. Smith kicks to Peyton. Back to Smith. Like at six. Jacks up a three. And that one's good. Smith's got his second bucket of the night. Defender there in the neighborhood, but not quite close enough. Good shot. Hibbert with his screen on out. Passes it to Fresh. Coming. A follow-up flush. And the Bulls lead by 11. He sniffed out that board and then powered it back in. Pure Mike Clark, so strong going back up with that one. That's exactly what he's capable of, guys. So strong. New York calls timeout. But he looks like he wants to toy around with some of their sets and matchups here. You know, I don't think you can afford to go through a whole game doing the same thing over and over. And you have to be able to adjust on the fly, just like he's doing here. Here's Grant. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Peyton dishes to O'Neal. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. But his body control is what I notice. I think that jumps off the page when you watch him play, even with a defender draped all over. He's able to find a way to get to the rim and get the shot to go in. And Steve, you look at him, he is a banger. I mean, he really enjoys the physical aspect of the game. Fresh, the pass to Knowles. Working on Howard. 
Here's the hook. Another one falls for Chicago. Boy, he can be devastating with that hook shot. Now here's Peyton. Eight points for him. Shaq kicks to Grant. Here's Shaq. And now let's give you a look at the players who have stood out and taken high percentage shots in the playoffs. The fourth spot is held by Roy Hibbert. Well, you always want to shoot a high percentage, and that goes back to the kind of shots you get. But there's no better time than the postseason to knock down most of the shots that you take. He misses the free throw. So for the Bulls. Devots comes in for Roy Hibbert, and it's Jordan in for Ellis. That one misses. And that'll increase their rebound advantage. They've definitely been winning that battle on the board. Well, the main thing is they haven't allowed many second chance opportunities. That is always going to allow you to maintain your lead. Here's Big Smooth, and the Bulls tack on two more. Well, it looks like he's finally found his footing in this game. His first quarter was uh, a real struggle, but he's gotten it going now. Smith dishes to Peyton. Howard, back to Peyton. Down to five on the shot clock. And Count the Basket is fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Outstanding job there to absorb the contact and guide it in. That's how you impose your will against the defender. He came to play. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. West is checked in for Chicago. The Bulls leading by 11. He passes it to Knowles. He kicks to Jordan. Stolen by O'Neal. Smith up top, ended by West. Peyton passes to O'Neal. Back to Peyton. New York moving the ball around. Nice shot by Smith. That shot becomes effortless for him when the D is so relaxed. He's got to get more intense. Jordan picks it to West. Back to Jordan. Dishes it to D box. It's blocked. Sent that one away, but after it touched the backboard, the refs are on it, and they call him for goaltending. He got there late, but you do have to like the aggressiveness to go after the block, but that one's going to count. And the crowd immediately letting the officials have it after that whistle. A very unpopular call there. Next trail by 10. And they double up Peyton. Shaq dishing to Peyton. Now the feed to Howard. Back to Peyton. Fires for three. Chicago grabs the miss. Cummings got his third rebound on the night. They've shown effort and aggression in the paint right from the tip. Their rebounding edge is impressive. And I'll tell you what, they've turned a lot of those rebounds into points at the other end. Peyton outside. Here's the three. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. Smith's got his third assist on the ninth. Feeds to Cummings. Back to West. Kicks it to Cummings. He dishes it to Jordan. Six on the shot clock. Vivax, the pass to Jordan. And the basket by Knowles. That's his first three-pointer of the second half, which actually makes it his first of the game. Howard kicks to Payton. Check is screwed on West. That's a two from Smith. Shot misses. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Here's Jordan. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Jordan's got 11 points. While they're winning the speed game, guys, getting out in transition. Well, I like the energy they play with offensively and in the open court. Tremendous flow. Shaq dishing to Smith. Money from the win. The Bulls leading by 12. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Box. 
points. He has six. Now Cummings inside. Puts up the baby hook. Makes a big high bounce and goes in. Cummings got four this quarter. They are not rotating nearly quickly enough on defense down low. Got to get quicker there. And even if it costs them some foul trouble, I mean, they need to start putting some bodies on bodies. Be physical. Boy, did they ever make a mess out of that one. A terrible turnover. Chicago's gone three or four from long range in the game. West kicks to Divox. Jordan. Pass to Knowles. West outside. Six to shoot. Nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. West has got 11. Those defenders look like they're out of gas. I mean, they're getting pushed around on the low block. Well, their energy is lacking, and they've got to start playing harder and battle down in the paint. Check the screen on West. Peyton drives in. That's good. He's got 16. And fellas, in this quarter, he's improved on what was already a very good performance in period number one. And the pass to Knowles. Back to West. Cummings with a screen on Peyton. Here's Knowles. From outside, off the mark. Hey, he had all the time in the world to get that shot. Peyton kicks to Grant. How? Pass to Peyton. Smith on the wing. Smith, left side. And the Knicks getting another bucket right there. This corner has brought out the best in him, fellas. Even though they're still trailing, he's been impossible to contain. West gets to coming. He feeds it to Jordan. He's against Smith. Jordan, the pass to Cummings. He did a nice job of getting to the line in the first quarter. He's trying to do the same thing here. This is his second trip to the free throw line. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Bulls making a switch here. So Cummings nails them both. Knicks trail by 14. Dayton picks to Howard. The dish to Walker. Passes to Peyton. It's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Take a look at what Peyton's been doing. He's got 16 points, and he's got nine points from behind the arc. Yeah, that's been an important part of his game today. He's made his open looks. Good on the second, so he makes them both. The Bulls leading by 12. West passes to the body. He passes to Jordan. Fader on the way. It's rebounded by New York. Smith off a bit from Walker. Peyton dishes to Walker. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Let's take this chance now to show you the list of the postseason scoring losers. The Knicks have not shot all that well from the free throw line. Six of 11. No good on the free throw. He's good on the second. There's 117 left in the first half of basketball. Peyton against West. Pass to the body guard. And out of bounds as the next game possession. Way too loose on that inbound pass. Kawhi Leonard and he's checked in for Chicago. Knicks trail by 11. 59 seconds left to play in the first half. 
Here's Cousins. That's good. And it's Peyton with the assist. Cousins has got five. Looked like they found the soft spot in the defense there. He kicks the winner. Dishes it to Jordan. Back to Leonard. Shot clock at six. The feed to Jordan. Knocks it loose. And so it looks like the Bulls will retain possession here. Nulls is checked in for Cummings. Off the inbound. And it's blocked. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off the shot. 24 second violation. 29 seconds left in the first half of the game. Smith kicks to Payton. Feeds it to Walker. He dishes it to Smith. The pass to Payton. And out of bounds is Chicago Games possession. Well, that's inexcusable to throw a pass that far off the mark. Chicago leading by nine. West passes to Jordan. Here's the bodyguard, covered by Smith. The bodyguard misses the win. He had him with that bump If they could end every possession with that shot, they'd be happy. Nine times out of ten, that's an easy layup for them. And so that's the end of the first half. Bulls lead by nine. And we'll be back right after halftime for the start of the third quarter. We'll see you in a bit. And now, brought to you by Sprint. Happy Mother's Day. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And we welcome you back here to the broadcast of the Eastern Conference Semifinals. It's been one outstanding game so far from Gary Payton. Everything's magnified in a game like this. And with the microscope squarely on him as their go-to guy, he came through in a huge way in the first half. Steve, that's what he's known for. I mean, his ability to raise his game according to the situation makes him elite level. Well, we've got a moment upset the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade all fueled up for the second half. And New York, looking at who they've got. We've got Shaquille O'Neal. Howard is out there with Grant. And it's Smith. And it's Peyton in at the point. Bulls making a switch here. Hibbert's checked in. Kicks it to Jordan. Back to West. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. And this will be his second and third shots to the line here. First free throw is good. He makes one of two that time. Next trail by eight. Check the screen on Cummings. Smith dishes to Grant. Pass to Payton. Smith outside. Just fine on the clock. That's good. Smith's got 14. Four of their last five makes came off of a high quality shot inside. Yeah, that's textbook basketball. Just having their way down low. He feeds it to Cummings. Working on Grant. Knocked away. Foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. It goes on Horace Grant. Take a look at what Cummings done. He has eight points, and he's managed to get four of his points by way of the free throw line. And that may not be the first thing people notice about his performance, but those are important points nonetheless. That's good from Cummings. So Cummings nails them both. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. Payton kicks to Howard. There's the pick. Loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. 
Howard's got four this quarter. I'll tell you what I love about him. His ability to finish, even while absorbing contact, he is so strong. Even with defenders hanging all over, he continues to finish at the basket. And you know, at the end of the day, Steve, you just have to respect his overall defensive acumen. I mean, it's not just one thing he does well at that end. He knows how to guard from A to Z. This offense's first miss after three straight makes to start the second half. It's West with the draw. And the shot counts. He's fouled. It's a chance for a three-point play. Tell you what, fellas, he is fun to watch when he's working like that and getting to the hoop. This will be his fourth shot at the line in this one. Next trail by nine. Smith with it. He's picked up by Jordan. Smith off a pick from Peyton. Smith picks to Howard. And the dunk by Grant. You know, we didn't see too many plays like that when they were digging this hole for themselves. No, maybe they'll start making up for it now. That's all about effort and energy and anticipation, and they're finally getting some of that. Here's Big Smooth. That ball's nice feed that time from Jerry West. West has got three assists in the game. New York calls timeout. You have to like what we're seeing so far from Jerry West. They don't seem to have any answers for him. They need to review their game plan and look for a way to cool him off. Here's Peyton. 18 points for him. Peyton, right side. Fires from the wing. And there are the Knicks with another bucket. The Bulls leading by seven. There's the pick. West with the ball. Now Peyton defending. West passes to Knowles. The dish to Jordan. Just five to shoot. Halls pulls up on the wing. Will not go. This is off the front on. Peyton against West. Off his foot. And they're saying he kicked the ball. In the third quarter, just over three and a half minutes off the clock. So he gets the whistle, contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. Yeah, the referee's all over that one. No doubt about it. Clearly a foul. Nothing to argue about there. And he knocks down the first one. And he can't hit the second. The Bulls leading by six. Outside Jordan. Passes it to Cummings. Covered by Peyton. Guards checked in for the Bulls. So he gets them both. He's certainly been hitting well from the line, and those points do add up. Knicks trail by eight. Payton kicks to Smith. He passes to Prince. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. Smith's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. West passes to the body. Now Cummings inside. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. Kawhi Leonard is checked in for Nolans. the inbound pass. 
Here's Cummings, and he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. Cummings got six here in this quarter. They've been the glass eaters today, guys. A ton of effort out of them down low, and they've needed every one of those rebounds. I think that's what's put them in front here. And he overshot that one, missing. You can see how much the defense respects him. I mean, they were all over him on that look. The shot's good from Jordan. Here's Smith. 14 points for him. Baton outside. Pass to Grant. He kicks it to Smith. Dishes it to Baton. Lock at six. They get it back. O'Neal. I tell you what, it never gets old watching him work, does it, though? No, but, you know, that's a good way to put it. He will work. Great example of that on the offensive glass right there. Yeah, just blue-collar stuff. And then he put a little flare in the dunk. Stolen by Grant. And now the Knicks on the break. Leads him in there. And Peyton throws it down. Textbook example there of how to use defense to create offense. Yeah, beautiful transition play after the steal all the way to the basket. Wasted no time going from defense to offense. Yeah, it feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity as the game itself starts to get a little more tight and close. Smith kicks to Peyton. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. Peyton's got seven points here in this quarter. The Bulls leading by four. Back to Leonard. The feed to Cummings. He dishes it to West. Five on the clock. Shoots the three. Tries again. And Jordan gets it to go. Jordan's got 15 points. Another rebound gobbled up. They are pounding the boards. And a big part of the league, guys is because of the work they've done on the glass. I mean, they have the lead because they've rebounded well. And the dunk by Grant. Rudely thrown down after the offensive rebound. He is wrapped up now. Yes, you're right. And you figure this game might come down to a few of those other points. Always does, Kevin. I wouldn't doubt it. Seems like that kind of a contest tonight. Chicago calls timeout. The Bulls making a switch here. The Bulls leading by four. Leonard sets a screen for West. The pass to Nulls. Hits the jumper in space. Big Smooth got four points in the quarter. New York's gone past the three-point line for 13 of their shots. Six of 13. And Walker backs down. Goes up on the wing. Misses off the right iron. And you know why he was open there. They didn't commit too much defense to him, and you can see why. He has trouble making that shot. Moves back up. Here's the bodyguard. Tough sequence there. They just couldn't get it to fall. New York's getting blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Walker's got space. It's rebounded by Leonard. Leonard's got four rebounds in this game. Feeds it to West. to Leonard. Outside Jordan. He's against Smith from 13. And the rejection by Smith. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. And the Bulls making a change here. Just four to shoot. He tries for three. But they get it back. Multiple possessions have been the story of the game, and even with the big lead, this team continues to be quicker to the ball. Next trail by six. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. Shot's good by Walker. Well, the bounce pass was the key to the play. West kicks to Hibbert. Tipped away. And stolen by Cousins. Here's Nixon. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Now, just a two-point Bulls lead. Chicago has gone 3-7 tonight from three-point territory. And it's Josh Howard with the foul. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. And we'll go to the line to shoot two. 
And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Bulls. Well, rebounding and second chance opportunities have been a huge factor in this game. They haven't wasted time getting the ball up the court tonight either, and it's resulted in a lot of fast break points. Chicago making a switch here. Cummings has checked in. Hornacek kicks to Walker. Pass to Hunt. He feeds it to Cousins. He's against Hibbert. And Cousins gets it to go. Cousins has got seven points in the game. Boy, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. They've got a battle inside. Well, this game has been tough, but I mean, they're getting after it. I think he's starting to run a little bit low on energy, possibly. And so he draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. You know, they've really improved at the line from the first half. Things have gotten a lot better. They've gotten there a good number of times, and they've converted a high percentage of them. The first free throw is good. Chicago making a switch here. Jordan's checked in. He hits one and misses one each at the line. Knicks trail by three. Creighton outside. Walker, he's guarded by Cummings. The baseline jam. Here's Coleman. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. This is his first trip to the line tonight. That's good from Coleman. Good on both. Chicago has gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Kicks it to Jordan. Here's the dish to West. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Offensive rebound. Hibbert. Soft touch off the glass. Hibbert's got nine. Guys, he's actually indefatigable. He never gives in, never gives up on a play, and that's what it takes to be a great offensive rebounder. You've got to be relentless. West outside. Passes it to Hibbert. Here's Knowles. Cummings with a screen on Walker. Oh, trying for it. Five to shoot. Now Peyton. He's got 25. Howard in the post. Another miss by Howard. The Bulls leading by three. Pass to Knowles. He kicks it to Cummings. Lets it fly from 18. That one wide left. New York's gone past the three-point line for 13 of their shots. It's 6 of 13. And here's Walker outside. That's good. And so Howard with the assist. That's now eight points. Now in the game for Walker. Oh, wow, guys. Doesn't look good. We've got an injury here. Oh, boy. This is something you hate to see, Clark. You know, it sure is. Injuries, though, are really an unfortunate part of the game. Inevitable at times. Hopefully, it's nothing serious. Chicago's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. Hibbert with a screen on Hornison. Now the pass to Nulls. Shoots from the baseline, and he drops that one in. Big Smooth got 17. I tell you what, fellas, he loves those mid-range jumpers. I mean, that's where he makes his money. And Fresh picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. Thirty-five seconds left here in the third quarter. Grant backs in. No good. Great D that time from Cummings. Chicago leading. Here's Fresh. Rebound by Smith. No good on that last second attempt there. And as we finish the third quarter, it's still close. Both. Game six in the East. And we're back here at game five with four action about to get underway. 
New York's gotten a positive outcome on seven of their 14 three-pointers in this game. Not bad at all. So the Bulls five right now. Knowles is out there with Cummings. Then it's Ellis. Then there's West. And it's Hibbert in at the center, rocking down the middle. Six on the shot clock. Here's Peyton. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. That one on Cummings. Good for Peyton. Some changes for Chicago. Bodyguards checked in for Hibbert. And it's Jordan in for Ellis. And both free throws good for Peyton. West with the ball. He passes to Knowles. Here's the bodyguard. He's guarded by Howard. Tries from 10. Here's Jordan. And right on target. Good. And the Bulls lead by two. And this game is really heated up. I didn't think it could get any more high scoring than it already was. Well, there's always room for more offense, Steve. You know that. Dishes to Smith to take the lead. That's good. And it's Peyton with the assist. Peyton's got three assists now in this one. Well, he found a perfect spot behind the York. There, big gap in the defense. Here's the bodyguard. Stolen by O'Neal. And now the Knicks on the break. Smith left side. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. No slowing him down. Just incredible numbers for Smith. He's got 17 points, and the three-pointers have been dropping for him. He's got three of them. Well, as long as he's continuing to make them, I, I think they should make him more of a, a focal point of this offense. Smith hits them both. You know, he's as close to a sure thing as you can possibly have when he steps to the line. West dishes to Jordan. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. West covered by Peyton. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. That's on Shaq. As a team, they're hovering around 86 to 87% from the line. That's exactly what you want to see. I mean, converting at that rate, that'll win you a lot of games. That free throw good from West. The story in the first half was their low free throw percentage. They've corrected that here in the second half, and hopefully they can build on it as this game continues to progress. Boy, Hibbert's checked in for the bodyguard. And both free throws good for West. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. Peyton kicks to Howard. The feet now to Smith. He dishes it to Peyton. Pass to Howard. That's in, coming off an assist from Peyton. And it's 13 points for Howard. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist numbers. And theirs are fantastic. It's just beautiful basketball to watch, Clark. Jordan off a pick from Hibbert. And the call is going to be, yes, yes it is, an illegal screen. You know, since halftime, he's been hesitant with the ball in his hands. Uh, first half, he was flawless with his decision-making, but not so here in the second. Bodyguards checked in for Chicago. The Knicks leading by three. Here's Peyton. Feeds it to Howard. The 19-foot shot. Here's Shaq. And the officials call goaltending, so he'll avoid the basket. And they were sleeping on defense. The defense really didn't do its job. I mean, a little slow to react to the ball getting into the paint. That's costly. Well, and at this stage of such a tight game, I think this is when tired legs start to show. And the defense can become vulnerable in the low block. West kicks to Cummings. He feeds it to Jordan. Cummings passes to West. And stolen by Peyton. And that one's good. Now it's a seven-point next lead. And what's your take, guys, on the muscle sticks for New York? Boy, defensively, they've played with a high energy level, guys. And all the steals we've seen, really a result of that aggressiveness. Another factor here tonight has been the amount of points they've scored off turnovers. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. That's good from Cummings. This is what they need to do in the second half to come out with a win. It's not the only thing, but when you convert free throws at the other end, 
you put a lot of pressure on the opponent to play solid defense against you. Smith dishes to Howard. And it's Howard again. Miss it. Pass it to Knowles. That misses off the back line. The Knicks lead by four. Howard tries in. Good shot there, and it's off target. Well, ever since the second half started, he's been ice cold. Very little going his way right now. Here's West. 11 feet out, and he hits it. West has got four points in the quarter. Boy, I'm surprised he took that shot. He, you know, he was at a huge size disadvantage in that matchup, but, boy, great job to bury it. Here's Shaq, and the shot is good. And the Knicks lead by four. He's created some good opportunities for himself and made the most of them. Payton against West, and it's blocked by Payton. Hacked and still knocked it down. Nice composure. They've clearly been the better team on the glass. It hasn't necessarily translated to the scoreboard yet. But you feel like it's going to, to reward this team at some point. They've got to continue to maintain the energy. Free throw off from Bobby Gunn. The Knicks have gone five of eight shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. They grab their own miss. Smith kicks to Howard. There's the dish to Grant. Second shot opportunity. That's good. And so Howard with the assist. Man, how about the dexterity for this big guy? He is really smooth around the basket. West against Peyton. Cummings kicks to Jordan. Sinks it from just inside the baseline. Jordan's got four points now in the quarter. The Knicks have gotten into a pretty good groove going 6 of 10 here in the final quarter. Shant with a screen on West. Peyton's shot is off. He can't seem to find the range here in the second. He did a great job in the first hitting three from outside. Back to Jordan to tie it up. It's good. This game is all even. Jordan's got 10 points in just the second half. What an excellent performance from the field for him. Smith off a pick from O'Neal. Peyton outside. Gets hauled in by the Bulls. Cummings got eight rebounds in this game. Great offensive performance they're putting on. You see the benefit of knocking down baskets consecutively because it leads to the confidence growing and growing, doesn't it, Steve? It sure does. And now it's to the point where they just feel unstoppable. Now here's Peyton. Kicks to O'Neal. Backing in. That is good. Chicago calls timeout. The short rest very important. One of the benefits of this part of the game is getting on the same page with your team while having the chance to hydrate with Gatorade. Replenish your energy for the late game push. And refocus, Kevin. you got to take care of your body and... We ought to drink some Gatorade here, too. I thought I noticed some slip-ups here the last yeah. uh, couple minutes from, from your end on the play-by-play. -play. <laughs> <laughs> A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Well, Kevin, I was able to listen in on what the head coach of the Chicago Bulls was going over in his huddle. With a deficit as we approached the final buzzer, he stayed upbeat, saying, listen, we can battle back, fellas. Just stay with me. I need all-out effort here, and we can bring it home. Fellas? This has been a different kind of game here in the second half. I thought both clubs a little slow in the first. No question, but they're really going at it now. Peyton passes to Howard. He kicks it to O'Neal. Hits the jump hook. Shaq's got eight points in the quarter. He's been hot here in the fourth. He's contributing big at the right time. Well, he's basically hitting everything he's throwing up there. Four for four shooting here in the quarter. Pass to Knowles. This is to Cummings. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Grant, and so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. This is where their depth becomes such an asset, Kevin. He's gone for the remainder of the game, but fortunately, they're able to field a very capable replacement. Coleman's check in for Horace Grant. Not an A-plus trip to the line, but he did get them the lead. And here is Peyton. Howard gets the shot. That's good. And so Howard with the assist. 
Howard's got three assists now in this one. He is really put his foot on the pedal this quarter, doing a tremendous job leading their offense. And the Bastinals back to West. Rocket six. And it's Josh Howard with the foul. That will get him his fourth foul of the game, and due to the bonus, we will head to the line for two. That free throw good from Big Smooth. And he makes both free throws. Here's Peyton. There's the feed to Smith. Hooked away. And stolen by Jordan. Oh! Are you kidding me? That was a power yes. punch right yeah. there. Oh, great. Man, he got fancy with that one, didn't he? Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. Yeah, I like that. I mean, some coaches might want to see just a, a sure-handed lay-in, but I say put as much as you can on the finish and get your teammates going. And the first one drops. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Chicago's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. West off the pick from Cummings. Passes it to Knowles. Great D that time from Howard. Well, one of his issues is he's a player that just does not excel at fighting through contact on his way to the rim. The shot by Peyton. Not enough on that one as it misses. He's going to play his way right onto the bench and out of the game if he continues to shoot it like he has so far in this quarter. He bounces a screen on Peyton. Rest with the ball. Now Peyton defending. He backing down. Four on the clock. And Shaq sends it back. And so it looks like the Bulls will retain possession here. Here's Cummings. No good on the quick three. New York trailing. He dishes it to Howard. Back to Peyton. Fires from deep. Here's Shaq. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Some really terrific numbers for Shaq. 11 rebounds and the two nice steals as well. This is something special. I mean, he hasn't missed a single shot. It's hard to find words to describe it. He doesn't get the second one. He should be in front right now, but he'll be relieved not to have come up totally empty. You're not doing your team any good forcing a shot like that one. No, I agree. He's got to know better than that. West with the steal. With the lead pass. Now there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. Well, he recognized the advantage size-wise. And he went right out the defender. That's how you do it. And the Knicks making a change here. Cousins is checked in. This is a positive trend for him, especially here in the second half. Shooting just above 80% right now. That's more than respectable. That's good free throw shooting. Gets the bucket. You know, as soon as he recognized the height mismatch, he immediately pulled up for the jumper. As he should. That's a good decision. When he gets a clean look, he's got to take it. Jordan off a bit from Cummings. And Jordan gets it to go. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash mouth basketball, guys. Love it. Old school. Just physical play in the paint. Dominating. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. They're committing an awful lot of fouls, and most of them are unproductive. You don't want to let guys get easy layups. I understand that. But this could turn into a parade to the foul line. Cousins dishes to O'Neal. Good on the first, and that brings them within two. And he is unable to get the second one. Only down two now, but that miss might hurt. If they don't get a stop, it's back to a two-possession game. No good from Hustles. If they grab one there, 
I was going to make the point that they just haven't done enough in terms of rebounding the ball. I agree. West against Payton. Smith the pass to Payton. West with the steal. For the finish, the big jump at the end of the break. Boy, their defense making an impact here late, Kevin. And straight off the steel, Clark, the perfectly run fast break ends in a slam dunk. Yeah, that could be a huge four-point swing in this game. Peyton kicks to Howard. He passes to Cousins. The shot is off. Now Chicago takes it the other way. At one point, they led by 16. Knowles passes to us. Takes it from 10. Shot to 9. And they get it back. And they're jammed by Terry Cummings. The offensive rebound gave him another crack at it, and he cast in. I did it with strength. And the putback jam, Clark, with strength. Love it. Uh, ready, ready. <laughs> and the Knicks making a change here. He's checked in. They are killing him with that three-point shot here in the second half. Well, the defense fully stretched out trying to stop that shot and still not able to get it done. The drive by Jordan can hit. Absolutely critical chance right here. Yeah, they need this one to go their way, Kevin. Smith gets the shot. Five seconds separating the shot and game blocks. Six to shoot. He nails it. And that shot brings them to within just one. Oh, what a basket, man. At the perfect time. How about the courage and backbone of this guy? Wow. Smart foul there. You got to try to extend the game. Yeah, it's still close, but they're fighting that clock as much as the score right now. Second one is good. We both at the line. It's a three-point game. And the free throws make things a lot more simple for them. Now you just have to guard against the three-pointer. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. They're down by three. Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Guys, what do you think? Well, down three, you don't necessarily have to go for the three. You could go for the quick bucket and then the foul. I'm not sure. I mean, in this situation, I think they should look for the three, Steve. I mean, try to tie this thing up. You've got three-point shooters. Let it fly. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. First one drops, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And so both free throws are good, and it's a five-point game. And that's exactly how you close a game. Those free throws will bury them for sure. And so it's...